When the leader was driving on the road in a luxury car, the CNC gun suddenly sounded and the bulletproof glass was cracked. The bodyguard Bard immediately told the female leader in the back seat to make up her body and informed the driver to move quickly, unexpectedly. The driver was shot in the head and the bodyguard on the co-pilot, Badma, broke the steering wheel. Unexpectedly, the car soon crashed into a nearby vehicle. Id observed the window and found that the sniper's video was so ordinary that he actually penetrated the bulletproof glass through the same crater. Id once again told the female leader not to be a bullet, although she could shoot through the bulletproof glass. She could not shoot through the bulletproof steel plate at the body, then call the headquarters for armed and air support, and observe the back bodyguards through the rearview mirror. The vehicle informed them to treat people in place and then informed the female leader of the bulletproof police car reinforcement, continued to appease his panic for two minutes. At this time, the sniper still shot at the car, killing the female leader even more frightened. A person who has never been to the battlefield will panic when he sees this situation. Aid continued to appease the female leaders. He will be safe inside the bulletproof steel plate of the car body for the time being. He then quietly got out of the car from the other side, quickly took a picture of the sniper's position with the help of the mobile phone photo function, and reported it to the headquarters. The sniper is on the roof of the Pascal building, however, when asked what the bulletproof police car finally arrived, one side still said that it would take two minutes. The bodyguard was so angry that he had to quietly open the door, drag the driver out, and drive the exposed live target to move while reversing the car. Appease the female leader. Don't get up and be bulletproof. The roof can block it, but the sniper still shot, but could only hit the front window. Then the car drifted for 300 days and quickly drove to the pastor building, looking at the view. After confirming that it was safe, he picked up the submachine gun and rushed into the building. While evacuating people as a policeman, Aid marched towards the building with a gun. Seeing this, the bald security guard immediately swiped his card to open the door and guided him to the roof, but searched with a gun and suddenly saw a cleaner carrying a package. He came closer and found that he was waking up, the comrade in arms who was born and died. He only said one sentence, and someone must stop him. After he finished speaking, he ended his life. It could only roar, and his heart was extremely painful. Subsequently, the bulletproof police car arrived in time, escorted the female leader to evacuate safely, and an assassination crisis was temporarily lifted. A suspected car carrying a bomb was running wildly towards a community. The police tracked the car and tried to intercept it, but was hit back to the side of the road. Seeing that the truck was about to rush to the community, the teachers urged the children to run into the classroom. At this time, the bulletproof police car from the nearby reinforcements arrived in time, picked up the submachine gun, and swept the truck. The suspected driver was hit on the spot, and the truck then went out of control and crashed into the roadside car. Armed and plainclothes police quickly rushed to surround them. But no detonator was found. However, just as the police tried to approach the truck to search for the detonator, he suddenly detonated a powerful bomb for the gas at suspect and three brave and fearless policemen died on the spot. I protected the children with my own lives. The female leader was shocked when she learned the news, but she still didn't know why the criminal chose to start in primary school. He immediately ordered an investigation into the incident. Then Kiang Wan University delivered a keynote speech. But just halfway through the speech, the secretary was ready to enter the venue with a briefcase but immediately stopped his secretary at the door and asked him to open his briefcase for inspection. B. At no suspicious items were found. Just as the secretary walked the podium, a woman under the podium ran away from the podium bodyguard, Button felt that and immediately rushed to the podium to try to save the female leader. In the end, all the injured were sent to the hospital in time. Aid received a minor injury in a bulletproof vest, well, the female leader was seriously injured, and the rescue was ineffective and died. Adine and the leader blamed themselves for being killed and were ready to raise their guns to kill. 
themselves, but found that the bullets were empty. His ex-wife felt that something was going to happen to him, so she immediately found Bard and comforted him through the children. Hugs and warmth finally helped Bard get out of the grief of self-blame. He decided to cheer up and find out the real culprit who killed the leader. After investigation, the police found that the reason for the explosion of the podium was not the briefcase, but the secretary walking to the podium. The weight of the two detonated the trigger bomb under the oars at the same time, but let out the suspect Luke by selling PSL sniper rifles, but was subdued by the other party. The man walking on the street claimed to be Sheriff Barb, but when he threw away the waterfall, he found that his body was already full of bonds, and as long as the switch was released, it would explode immediately. He kept defending to everyone that he had been wronged and framed. The police immediately surrounded him and evacuated the surrounding crowd. Then the man was transferred to the open area. The commander reported to the headquarters and only shot him. The headquarters asked him to be on standby. At this time, Bard's female boss sent a black girl to continue negotiations on the walkie-talkie. Bard explained to the female boss through the walkie-talkie that he had been knocked unconscious last night. When I woke up, I had been tied to a vest, and the bomb finger was glued to the power failure switch with tape. However, the female boss not only suspected that he deliberately committed a suicide terrorist attack, but also intensified the death of the female leader on her head.